Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Making Interstellar Redux. Today we have the second leg at home against Victoria Plezen in the Europa League quarterfinals. But before then we've got to recap everything that's gone on since the last game, which was a 6-1 victory against Feyenoord. Um, hasn't been too great since then. Um, we beat Z Zwoll 3-0 um, in the next league game, Luke getting a hat-trick in that one. Um, and then we threw away a two-goal lead against Victoria Plezen away from home. It's good that we got two away goals. But two individual mistakes cost us the, the win. And it's a similar situation this one. I mean, we're 2-0 down in this thanks to, an, again, a mistake by Van Rin. Um, we managed to fight back and get to 2-0. Uh, two and then a mistake from Balati lost us the game. So individual mistakes seem to be the flavour of the week. Hopefully they won't come into this game. Um, because we really want to try and win this. And go through to the next round. Unfortunately, Krishna is still out. Um... 10 days and 2 weeks, so no him today. So we're going to have to shuffle the back line a bit. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to drop Van Ryan because he's been playing poorly, but it doesn't seem... Sorry about this. Too... Oh my god. <laughs> too likely because of the uh, lack of players we have. I'm just going to mute my phone. This is pissing me off. So let's just get these rest of the team sent up. We're going to just chuck him at right back. I'm just going to have to chuck someone random on the bench. who's Van Der Beek. And let's get into the game. Cool, let's go. Sorry about that, I really am. Oh, actually, before we do so, I've just noticed that Nuri is a little bit tired, so we're going to start Atar instead. Hopefully we can get a good performance from him. I feel like we are missing Kishner a little bit on that left wing. He's so dangerous. But two away goals. Um, optimistic. It's a shame that we've got a player suspended and we've got a player injured. I'm going to tell him we should be winning this. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to try and get him riled up. They don't deserve it. I'm not sure what I mean by that, but you know. So, if simple as nil nil, one all, or win and we're through, I'd expect us to be all right. I just don't want to say too much and jinx it, but let's see how we go. Thompson on the ball here to Anderson. So Luke, Luke has finally come up big in a European game against a foreign team. Lovely strike. Six six minutes in, and we're one nil up on the night. Three two up on aggregate. And we have one more, and we're getting close to that lucrative semi-final spot. And this is a lovely run. Played to Luke. First time shot. Boom. Past goalkeeper. And a nice early start. But we did this in the last game, and we collapsed. So let's make sure we don't do that again. But Pabon on the ball here. Poor free kick. Thompson to Berletti. Berletti to Anderson. Through to Pabon. Saved. Okay, I just want to change my tactics quickly for my set pieces. I keep forgetting to do this. Vidma keeps not taking them. I need Vidma to take them for the tactic to work. Balati. Up to Vene. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pabon. Hey, Luke. Oh, saved by the Koza Kitch. Or Koza. Koza Sitch. Oh, no. Don't score. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Okay. They're, they're li looking a bit dangerous, Victoria Plazen. Um, we haven't managed to clear it. Sadek. Duris get the way goal. That is very disappointing. It's a lovely strike, but it's disappointing. And we're making a meal out of this opposition. I really wanted it to be simple. Let's hope we can get a goal from this corner though. Pabon hits a flipping post. Oh, oh no. How did they not score there? Our defending of set pieces is atrocious, I've noticed. Oh we should be two one down in this game. No ifs and buts, we should be. But so far, we, as it stands, we're going through, but we've got flipping, um, what's their names in the ascendancy here? Victoria Plezen. If we go out to this lot, I'll be very disappointed. Let's do the risk. I'm going to have to tell the team to concentrate. Because they're not. They look, I feel like they're panicking a bit under the pressure. But we need, if we can get a second goal before half time, it'd be nice. Vidma. Atal. Oh yes, how have we not scored there? It's been such an even game and ah, oh, disappointing to be 1-0. I'm going to tell him there's room for improvement. I'm going to try and rile him up a bit now. They seem composed a lot of them. None of them look panicky, which is nice. I must have been wrong. I want them to be composed and calm. I don't want them to be on edge. I don't want them to be nervous. We need a cool set of heads for this one. So Pabon goes past one. He crosses it. Oh, it doesn't quite make its way to Luke. Oh, no. Duda. 
Oh, we've cleared it. Now break. Come on. Oh, that was a poor ball, but Pabon can play Luke through here. Come on, Luke. You've got to score this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, lovely. Lovely counter attack. He got a bit lucky with the way the counter attack fell for Pabon. That was a poor ball originally, but Pabon recovered it well. Luke, you see people miss this all the time in FM, and Luke has not missed this time. He's come up big when it's matters. And why is there. I highlight straight after we've scored. I cannot concede another one. Miss Silly. Dude is open. What is that? What is that? That is unbelievable. And now all of a sudden, it's not a case of. It's a case of do not let them score again. Because if they do, we have to score two. And it's disappointing. Anderson's through and he doesn't score. That is really disappointing. <laughs> We're making it very difficult for ourselves, but I think. Oh, yes, Luke's got a hat trick. But regardless of that, um, I think I may have underestimated Victoria Plezen here. Yeah. Um, I must. I've kind of written them off as a, t as like an easy team, and they've really given us a run for our money. And even though we're three to up, we need a second goal just for that added cushion. Pabon. Oh, no. Every time they punt the ball forward, that do I'm just worried they're going to score now. We need to score another. We have to. Anderson to Atar. So I played to Pabon. He's got a chance here. He's got a score. It's blocked. Okay, that that's the end of the highlight. Good, good, good. But uh, Pabon on the ball now. Venag, I can't even pronounce his name. Pabon is cleared. Thompson though. Come on, don't be daft. Atar, Anderson, Luke, Pabon. Oh, he's at the bar and he's gone wide. We've got a chance from the corner though. Vidma, Pabon, Balati. Play back out to Vidma. Good. Cross it. I'll just lose it, and they're going to counter attack, didn't they? No, they've just booted it off. That's good. Now, I was looking at Victoria Pleasant actually, and there wouldn't be a team. A bit of I wouldn't mind managing in the future on this, just to um, because I think that'd be a cool team to manage. Um, yeah, we're going to make a change. I task I come off. I'm going to put on Van Persie, just because he's more he's a more experienced head, and we're actually going to bring on Van Den Beek for Thompson as well because he's not playing especially well but I'm hoping the experience and the experience well I'm not sure what I mean by Andy but the experience of Van Persie a 34 year old coming on can just calm us down a little bit and see us through these final 10 minutes but it looks like there's got to be another chance in this one do not get counter attacked lads Van Ryan, Vidma, Van Der Beek Van Persie oh he's been saved that was a poor poor miss Oh, it's so tense. A goal now for them wins it for them, really. And they're going to counter attack us. Balati, well done. Vanderbeek, launch it forward. Don't. Okay, that's good. Balati, Pabon. Oh, it's poor ball. Oh, Vene. Oh, don't. Veltman. Vene. I can't even pronounce his name. Van Percy. Okay, Vanderbeek. Anderson. Play it to Luke. He scored four in the. He scored four in the game. 30th goal of the season and that should be that <sighs> that is relief they now have to score 2 in the last 5 minutes to get through and we're just going to make a sub to waste time it's bizarre wow we've managed to skip through this not sure how <sighs> and we've set up a semi-final against either Van Persie, Van Persie either Sam Southampton or Roma let's see who I am so relieved he got through that. Luke scoring four goals in one game is incredible. He's such a good player. He's finally turned up big on the European stage. Oh, thank God for that. And it's Roma we will face. Arsenal went through, as did Red Bull Salzburg. So don't let them off either. And we are through to the semi-finals of the <laughs> Europa League. I feel like I have to... Um, where is it? Luke, I have to praise him for that game. You were fantastic, mate. And look at this record he's got, though. Over down here. Tw 30 goals in 20 appearances. That's just unbelievable. That really is. Unbelievable. If we can do that next year, we're going to have a great striker on our hands. Hopefully no one's interested in him. Good. But yeah, obviously, um, 
it's a bit strange actually the way the league's panning out because we've got two we've got Roma twice in a row because of the way the league's set up. Um, so we're gonna play. I'll play offline Groningen, FC Twente, and Roma, and we'll come back for the uh, Roma second leg, and we're at home again. But hopefully we can get a good result for this time in the first leg. I feel like this may be a step too far, although we are favourites. Let's see how Roma have done quickly. They're fourth in the Serie A. Inter a second. Sampdoria look set to win that. Um, but Roma haven't been great. Hopefully we can come through this and win them, beat them. But we'll find out next time on another episode of Making the Stellar Reader Ducks. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all for the second leg against Roma. Ta-ra.